Hey guys, it's me Meaner. Here we are back to Super Mario 3D World. Now you may notice I'm in the Tanuki suit and all these levels are already finished. Well, as it turns out after post recording after doing World's Mushroom, I found out that this level here got corrupted and the rest of it didn't. That's odd. The first time my Elgato ever got corrupted with anything. I wonder why though. Either way, I'm gonna have to redo this. Thankfully all the other footage is fine, so I'm gonna have to re-record this. So let's go ahead and begin. Night falls on really rolling hills. And world mushroom. This is going to be exciting. What differences are we going to see this time? Well, for one, we have 30 seconds, so there's that. And of course, the time trial thing. We'll see time here. And I really want to get rid of my Tanuki suit. Hopefully, I can find something really shortly. Nope. But I'm not going to use the Tanuki suit. I refuse. I will use jump normally like I always do. And if I get hit, so be it. But I will not use the cheap Tanuki way out. That's for jerks. There we go. I'm happy now. All is well. Now, first we hit that little spot there for a green star. And also notice the, with these uh, worlds here, you'll find three green stars, but you will not find an actual. Uh, what is it? Uh, let's see. You will not find the stamps. There are no stamps in world star, in world mushroom or flower. So let's not worry about that, shall we? Thankfully, we get a fire flower now, so that's cool. Now we can actually kill these things. Hooray! Yeah. Actually, I want to go over here. There we go. Plenty of time. Fine. So be it. We have more than enough time to actually get the rest of the green stars, I'm pretty sure. So, we'll see. You want to jump up here, of course, because there's time. And, as long as you do your jump properly, if you jump up here, there's another green star, which of course is already taken. So there's that. So now we go in this. And I recommend actually taking out this end first. And at the very end, you want to actually jump on the stairs. Because the stairs, at the very end of it, the green star is going to appear right at the top. In order to save time, that's the best way of doing it. So there you go. And we still have 23 seconds left. Quickly, go inside. There's not much time to waste. Let's go. All right, got it, so close. Just a little bit more. Come on, you got this. And... Got it. There you go. Got the gold flag and three stars, we're good. So I'm a small little toad, but who cares? I got it anyway. Alright, so now we unlock that level over there, and the one over the right. I'll tackle the one on the left last, so we'll worry about that next. So the second one we're going to be tackling on is this one over here to the right, which is Deep Black Jungle Drift. Hmm, interesting level name. We're back on the raft again, except this time, we have these. Thankfully there's no time limit, so we don't have to be stressed out about that. We do have to be stressed out of actually doing some time, though. Jump up here. And... Get our star that way. But thankfully, we can kill these giant boos out of the way. Real nicely. Hooray! Can I kill you that way? Oh, I guess so. But uh, I'll just stay on this raft down here. We I could kill all of you. I don't feel like doing that, though. Just waste more time than you need to. Oh, those poor boos. Oh well, I guess they're not delighted to see us. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's wait for the next draft here. Now see a green star over there that you can't seem to normally get, but if you shine your, your actual lamp, you'll see you can actually walk on these clouds. So that's nice. Not really all too bad. We... And then kill all these guys here, kill you, and uh, wait a minute, I should probably wait for another raft actually to come by, another raft will come by right, I'm not, I'm not crazy, okay good, I'm not crazy, there we go, so now all we need to do now is actually use our flashlight to actually find these hidden platforms, 
which you can easily see here. Get a nice little running start. There's actually another hidden platform there as well. And voila! Oh, I missed those coins that Captain Toad had for us. Oh well, they're his coins. He found them. He has a right to them. Whatever. I mean, he has a lot of exploring to do over here. Why bother him? Why steal his goods that he found? Although he does seem pretty happy giving them to us, so I guess that's our own fault. But hey, whatever. World Mushroom isn't really that long of a world. In fact, it's actually quite short, considering. But let's go over here to World Mushroom 2. Spiky Mount Beanpole. This is kind of like Mount Beanpole before, except now there's spikes everywhere. And spikies. For, and also, the question mark things are also split up differently as well. Try to find them. What's up here? Ooh. Hey, look. You can see the green star way up there. Yeah, things are kind of different, differentiated a bit, so yeah, there's that. But either way, your main goal first is to be over here. Grab this little pow block. Ah, uh, dang it. I thought like, should we do this more than likely, but whatever. Because I needed to actually grab something. Oh well, I'll grab it later. I think there's actually another one up ahead I could not miss. And I think it's actually in there, but the first green star right there. Hmm. I'll just wall kick my way up here. That'll work. And now we'll see a new type of cat suit. It actually brings. Getting this cat suit actually turns you golden, so when you ground pound things, you can ground pound anything. Spikes, anything at all. See, look, you can even break through those little spike bars like that with the, cat, with the gold cat suit. Quite nice. So then just jump over here and. And break it. Dang it. Come on. It, it's not that hard. Come on. Come on. There we go. Finally. And I'll have one of these little P-switch things again. Yay. Not really all too bad. It doesn't really seem all too much different from the first one we saw of this. From the last time. The last level over here. But whatever. Except now, they're over on both sides. But still, you have plenty of time regardless. So there's a second green star right there for us. And then we're back up here again, with all the spikies and everything. Up here, aw. We'll see that question mark, but you can't actually reach it. You actually want to go up this way. And get it that way. Ta-da! Quite simple indeed. Hmm... I think I'll actually go up behind you and hit this power block. Haha, uh -huh. you die. And behind you, I'll kill you that way. Now if you go up this side, there's not really much all too much. But let's go ahead and get this instead. We Actually, I could probably just climb up there. Not really a big deal at all. You know what? I don't even need to do that. It's pointless. I'll just do it this way. I'll do it the easier way. Spikes. Good. There we are. There's our next key right there. So only there's one more key. So now let's climb up this way. Because we know we saw a green star over here before. Which is our last green star. We can't quite reach that platform yet. So we actually want to land over here on this pole. And then range ourselves over here. Still can't reach it. So let's climb up this pole now. We actually get this last key we need. That'll open up that box. And then we That's how we grab it. We coins. Oops, hold on. Uh, I could have actually fallen down a lot more than that. We 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 This is fun. All these coins we're getting for this. So much fun stuff. But up uh, that planks now there. Go inside this box and of course there's the end and just like it was at this level before you'll see the flagpole so you get a nice little running start to it i was hoping to have a little cat suit on stockpile there for the next part but uh i guess i won't oh well 
Good job, Toad. Well, that was pretty simple enough. Not really all too many uh, difficult changes yet, but trust me, they'll change up immensely later. In fact, the next two stages, based off previous stages, aren't anything like the old stages at all. They're completely revamped. But first, let's actually go over here. While we have a cat suit, which makes things tremendously easier. The Mystery House Brawl. It is very well possible to do this without a cat suit. But I'm not gonna will, not really willing to try that. I'll try my best, but uh, I'll just show you for example. Dang it. Yeah, as you can tell, makes things a lot more difficult in order to do it that way. I've actually, but that's just the, that's just the first round. There is still a lot more stuff after this that makes things difficult. It's like you almost have to have a cat suit for this one. Almost. I'm not saying you need a cat suit because I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's false. But either way, like I said, cat suit makes things much easier and much quicker. I'll wait for these things to land. Yep. Easy. And now we have Boomerang Bros. Nope. Hooray. That's four. Six more to go. Now here's one's hidden. You need a ground pound over in this area. And you'll actually see that guy actually hidden there. One of those little money bag things. And then we'll have these. Towers of Goombas. Hey look. We can have a bunch of them in stockpile now. That's nice. Notice how close I'm getting with time even with the cat suit. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Whoops. I actually did that by complete accident, but okay. And I'll hit you too. There we go. Yay. You get back in your hole, jerk. Get back in your hole. Yay. And then the final one is actually three hammer bros. And that's it. Yeah! So now look at our total of amount of stars rise up. We have 294. We have almost 300 stars now. So yeah, there we go. So, wait a minute. Oh wait, I didn't actually do these levels yet. So next time, I think I'll be seeing the last four stages of World of Mushroom for next time. So next time see my 3D world, I'll be talking the last four stages of World Mushroom. See you guys then.